Now let's get rid of some of these dust spots. And what we want to do is just zoom in and you see all these little black specks. It may not come off very clear through this video capture, this computer capture, but believe me, I can see it. So how I get rid of those is, let me go to a big one so that you may be able to see it better. Okay, so we're gonna hit the J tool, which is, I think, healing? It's called healing. Yeah, it's called spot healing. Spot healing brush tool. And all you do is just a quick little keyboard shortcut, you hit J. Oh, and you wanna make sure that you've only selected one layer. So the first layer, so we just select the first layer. So all of our changes show up. So all you do is you wanna hit it. The Photoshop will figure out surrounding We'll figure out surrounding colors and textures and things like that and just imitate it. So you want to make sure that your mouse isn't too much bigger than the actual spot. So let's get rid of these major dust spots. There's just a broken pixel right there. trees and usually you only see these dust spots in really light areas you won't really see it in the dark areas so I'm sure there's a lot more in the in the um, rocks and things like that but you just can't really see it So you just want to pan through and just get rid of as many dust spots as you can. And there are multiple ways to do this. This I find is just the easiest and works very well. Now see there's this huge clutter of dust spots right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But when I have a huge clutter like that and it's pretty much the same background, I'll just stamp them out. And then with the stamp tool, all you do is hit S and pick a um, destination and it will copy it right over. Good. Is he saying something? Black bear.